Hello again. Like most people, I was appalled at the increase in national insurance contributions, which we were promised before the 2019 election would not happen during this parliament. For ordinary working people, this extra 1.25% out of their wages will make another dent in finances at a time when the cost of living is soaring and a lot of us having to struggle to make ends meet. Why did Rishi Sunak, Chancellor of the Exchequer, take such a step, knowing the effect it would have on people in Britain? The answer is really quite simple. Well, <laughs> there are two parts to the explanation. The first is, of course, common to all rich people and politicians, and that is that he has not the faintest idea what it is like to be a working class person, having to cut back on heating or food simply to get by each week. It is not something which he has ever had to deal with. His own parents were middle class professionals, a doctor and a pharmacist, and he attended an expensive boarding school in Hampshire where he was head boy. He honestly does not know what ordinary everyday life is like. He married one of the richest women in Britain, although she is not herself British, of course, which will bring us in a moment to the second aspect of this matter. Akshata Murthy is an Indian citizen and is fantastically wealthy, being richer than the Queen, according to some estimates. Her annual income is apparently more than £11, £11 million pounds a year. Guess how much tax she pays? Why, that's right. She doesn't pay any tax at all in Britain. She lives in Downing Street and does not have to pay any income tax. Rummy or what? This is why the Chancellor of the Exchequer does not understand what it is like to pay a mortgage, find the money for the gas bill or worry about the rising price of food. In addition to their home in Downing Street, he and his wife have a house in North Yorkshire and a house in Kensington and a flat in Brompton Road, just round the corner from the Natural History Museum oh, and a penthouse in Santa Monica in Florida. The second reason why this man is not all that concerned with the interests of British working people is that he is, shall we say, a little more international than most of us. His grandparents were born in India, his father was born in Kenya, his mother in Tanganyika. His wife is a rich foreigner and they have a lovely home in the United States. It is quite obvious that such a man will not have the same interests in either Britain or the plight of British people as some other politicians might have. Of course, just to remind viewers, the rise in national insurance contributions is not the only manifesto pledge broken by this government. The triple lock on old age pensions was also in the manifesto, and that too has been abandoned, just in case pensioners might have benefited from any increase in national wages. Shocking behaviour on the part of the government. <laughs> 